Okay, so as I mentioned, we want you to stand just a little taller. It's a little yeah. better job there. How you can uh, basically have more width and room as well is your chin should be slightly more prominent. You can actually stick your head out a little bit. Got it. And as long as you're on the balls of your feet, it also verifies that you're well balanced by being able to still see the ball as opposed to having it out of your sight, right? Mm -hmm. So you can go through the routine you mentioned with your lesson, position the club, but it's more of a tall, proud tilt, little knee flex after that, so you're balanced and more upright. And if you have to move it a little closer to the ball because of the better angles, instead of hunching, look how my angle is, right? Yep, yep. So by that positioning, it's going to let you turn better, not bob up and down as much. Got it. Everything else, grip, club face being square, ball being centered is all very good. So we're going to watch the takeaway now. You can see as you go back, see how the club tends to get kind of picked up a little bit with your wrists? Yes, so you yeah, cock it early, and that was more of a habit of having uh, those angles that were quite tilted, right? Okay. And as you pick it up, you take the club back in a pretty good angle or plane, but now the shoulders uh, will tend to dip on you on occasion. Oh, I see that, yep. Yeah, so from there, top of your swing, you come back down, arms drop back down, and your head starts to rise up a little early. See that? Mm -hmm. It's okay to rise up when the ball's gone, but not through impact. So finish positions are pretty good path and balance are pretty good, but that'll all be more useful when you have more upright, stable positions gotcha. and stay tall. Okay. That's it. Okay. okay. So